If you're looking for a weight loss strategy that doesn't feel restrictive but can still help you manage your calories so that you stay in a calorie deficit, this is what this video is about. Eating according to calorie density or according to volume eating is really nothing new and it's what I'm gonna share with you in this video. I have a ton of videos on this subject which I will link down below and there's a lot of people on YouTube talking about this because it's a very popular way to be able to feel like you're eating enough while you are in a calorie deficit trying to lose weight. I always find a visual to be super helpful so I'm gonna show you how eating one single meal that is very high in calorie density compares with almost four full meals of what I can eat in a day. The benefits of eating according to low calorie density are that you get to eat a lot more volume, you get more servings, you can eat more throughout the day. So it really doesn't feel like you're just like white knuckling it through your weight loss journey. This is such a powerful tool. This is what helped me personally lose over 50 pounds. It's what I share with my clients when I work with them one-on-one. -on -one. Just check out this calorie density chart. You can see the low calorie density foods have, you can get a lot more volume out of that for calories per pound versus the higher density calorie foods. And that's what we're aiming with a weight loss focused whole food plant-based diet. While being in a slight calorie deficit, it will leave you feeling more satisfied, less likely to snack between meals and just feel like you have a lot of energy while you're trying to lose weight as opposed to I need to lay on the couch because I have zero energy. So without further ado, let's get into the food and the examples. I think you guys are gonna love this. All right, so what we have here is a vegan burrito from Chipotle, and don't get me wrong, these are really tasty, and of course when I'm traveling or in the airport or something, I've had one of these. I have one normal order of chips and guacamole, and I've got one vegan burrito. I did brown rice, black beans, I did the soy sofritos, I did romaine lettuce, fajita vegetables, no sour cream, of course, and I did some guacamole and salsa in here. So this is the burrito, and I've got chips and guacamole. So you might look at this and think, okay, this is a really good sized meal, this will fill me up, but all of this alone is over 1,800 calories, which is more than I personally eat in a single day. So that's a pretty decent sized burrito, pretty big, but not worth it to me for 1800 calories. That is really shocking to me and I know that I would be hungry if I only ate this one meal in one day. So now let me show you what you could eat for a comparable amount of calories, but way less fat, um, in a full day. So let's start with breakfast. I did a half a cup of dry oatmeal, rolled oats, a little bit of plant milk, anywhere from like a quarter of a cup, maybe eighth of a cup, just so you get a little bit of nice consistency in there. One cup of mixed berries. These are just frozen organic mixed berries. And I've got one teaspoon of chia seeds here. And this is optional, but I've got one teaspoon of maple syrup. You could do like a teaspoon of dried fruit on there. For lunch, I'm gonna stay with a Mex Mexican theme, but I'm going to make a big kind of burrito bowl salad instead. So I can still get the same taste as like the chipotle uh, burrito, but make it a little bit more volume filled. Um, I used a whole head of lettuce. It's not all in this bowl, but know that if I was just at home, I would probably be eating out of the size of a mixing bowl. So pretend this is the whole head of lettuce. I'll go back and eat that as my second. I've got one cup of oil-free um, little baked potatoes here. I did kind of like a taco seasoning. Um, I have this in a video, I'll link it down for you below. But viewer discretion advised if you watch that video because I do stir with a spoon, taste it, and dare I say, I put the spoon back in the bowl of spices. I know a lot of people got their panties in a bunch over that one. So I'm gonna place, this is a cup of potatoes that I'm putting in here, which really will help um, fill out this meal, make it feel very satisfying. A half a cup of beans. Beans are fantastic for fiber and feeling really full in a meal like this where it seems like, oh, I'm just eating a salad, but you're gonna be full after eating this. As much salsa as I want, because this is virtually like calorie free, and I'll leave this recipe down below. And then I'm adding a tiny bit of avocado, maybe that's like a quarter of an avocado mushed. I'm gonna add in about a half a cup of cucumber that has just been sliced. And I've got a half a cup of corn kernels that will go in there too. And that's a very rounded, lovely filling salad. If you're hungry for a snack, something that you could easily do is some apples with a little bit of cinnamon on them. And I've got a couple of uh, celery ribs chopped up here. I also went ahead and made a low glycemic green juice. This is about 20 ounces of green juice. And all of this together 
is definitely less than 300 calories. For dinner, I'm going to be doing a variation on my pad thai recipe from Eating Whole. So to load up on volume, one of my favorite things to do is spiralized zucchini. I've got a whole spiralized zucchini here and a small serving of millet and brown rice ramen, which is also, you know, very low calorie. Now I've got the sauce here, which normally I would mix it together, but I just want to show you all the elements. And I'm just gonna load this sauce up. Even if I had like half the recipe of sauce, it's mostly just vegetables. To be mindful of my fat intake, I've got two tablespoons of peanuts here, which I'm just gonna sprinkle on top. I might not even need that much, honestly. I feel like that's plenty. To increase the fiber of this meal, I'm gonna add some edamame, and it's about a half a cup that I've got here. And I'll garnish this with some green onion, lime, and jalapeno. This is such a great meal. So that's a lot of food. Let's put these side by side so you can visually see the difference. Okay, on the left, we've got the one meal from Chipotle, and that does not leave very much room for any other calories if you're trying to be mindful of weight loss on a daily basis. And on the right, I've got a whole day's worth of eating. Look at these vibrant colors. These are the kind of foods that we want to be getting in on a daily basis, not only because of weight loss, but because of overall health and longevity. Vibrant colors, juices, really tasty meals. You don't have to miss out when you're trying to lose weight. And then we've got just kind of this sad meal here on the side. So do yourself a favor, begin to incorporate eating for volume and for color and variety. And you're going to see that losing weight is not so difficult. Actually, it's enjoyable. It's just changing and tweaking ever so slightly to get the most bang for your buck. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about that comparison. I mean, it's really amazing how much food I eat on a, on a daily basis and you can eat if you follow these principles. For more recipes that have this whole concept in mind, check out my cookbooks and I'll leave a bunch of videos down below that cover this, share what I eat in a day according to low calorie density and volume eating and I think that they will be very helpful to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!